here's the thing. If you're getting started on YouTube and you're really depressed about the quality of your videos, or you think you just don't have what it takes, you can make it happen. I know you can. If you suck on YouTube, you're not alone. In this video, I'm gonna show you some crazy videos that have blown up, driven hundreds of thousands of views, and you're not gonna believe how cringy they are. Stick around. Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's Brian G and to grow on YouTube, stake your claim and amplify your message. Do that by subscribing and to really jumpstart your channel, check out my free 40 minute YouTube masterclass, link in the description. I'd love to get your opinion, just how bad is this video? And can you believe it's got like, what is it, 130,000 YouTube views? Uh, crazy, check it out. That's what we're talking about in this video, so stick around. So here's the thing. Yes, that video is, is there's so many things wrong with it. And yet the video has driven 130,000 YouTube views in four years. And if you think your videos suck, I'm right there with you. But what I know is this, you don't have to be great to get started, but you have to get started in order to be great. You've got to step up. You've got to have vision. You've got a dream that you can make it happen. And along the way, in, over time, with a bunch of videos being published, you can go really far. And yes, you can grow your channel. Do these things to make sure it happens. Pick a niche. You see, here's the thing. You may feel like you're failing. You might publish a video on Monday feel bad on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday because you get five views a day, and you might consider that video a failure. However, look at the metrics on the video that I showed you earlier. The video drove five to 10 views a day, every day, month after month, for about four to five months, and then it started doing 200 views a day. Now, let me ask you, what would happen to how you feel about your videos if you published a video that got 200 views a day? Would that inspire you to keep moving forward? Would that inspire you to stake your claim? Would it help you believe that you can make it happen? Because my friend, I know you can, but you gotta set yourself up so you can stay in the game so you can win on YouTube because when you get started, you don't have any watch time or subscribers. So it's gonna be likely that you don't have a lot of views to the videos you publish, like five or 10 views a day, but they add up and in time, this is what happens again and again and again, and you get one of those. One of these, a silver play button. And to date, my channel has driven over 8 million views or close to it. Amazing, who would have thought a guy that had no technical skills or abilities would be in a room with expensive equipment and fancy microphones. And you might say, I don't have any access to any of that gear. And that's because like me, when I started out, you didn't have the gear and you didn't have the money. But I did what I'm gonna share right now and I made it happen. And I know you can do the same. Okay, the first thing you gotta do is you have to have a plan and a strategy for your channel, which sounds complicated, but the good news is right now, I'm gonna simplify it and break it down. If you wanna grow, stop resisting all the tips you think you've tried, because fact of the matter is maybe you haven't, maybe you can do a little bit better. Do this. Strive to stay positive about your channel and focus on like where I'm gonna be in three to six months and strive to publish two videos a week because that will keep you busy, it will keep your mind busy and you won't be focused on your lack of results. And then all of a sudden in month three, you're gonna see a video take off. It always works and it can work for you too. Next up, have a niche. I know it's challenging. We're creative, we wanna talk about different things, but if you do that, you're gonna dilute the effectiveness you have on one channel. And I gotta tell you, holy smokes, having one successful channel, really hard. Choosing a niche will dramatically increase your chances of success. So do that. 
Hey, here's another tip that you may not have heard before. It will help you as you move forward with your channel. Really craft and create videos that are very specific in nature. Videos where you know exactly what the user is looking for. For example, if it's Fortnite gameplay, it's not very specific. But if it's a keyword phrase like funny moments in Fortnite, you know exactly what kind of video to create to satisfy the value the viewer is after. And here's what's up. You can suck when it comes to the videos you publish, but you gotta get to the point and fast. If you're getting started and you're not growing, the safest bet is to get to the point in your videos quickly. Now here's what's up, a lot of YouTubers, they don't do this, why? Because they're very skilled at storytelling. They're very skilled at many of the aspects that drive views and whatnot, and if you don't have those skills, you can't pull that off. Get to the point, it will help you grow. Here's another thing, right, check this out. Your videos, they may suck today. Your videos may suck tomorrow and they still may drive a boatload of views, but you can't think in terms of I've already done that and it doesn't work. You see, when you see YouTube tips and whatnot, it's, it's not about a tip you apply one time and you get the result you're after. Life is not like that when we talk about things that are skill-based. Creating a video that a whole boatload of people, hundreds of thousands of people really love, that is a skill. So the thing you don't wanna do is say, I tried that, it didn't work. Let me give you an example. If I show you and I demonstrate that thumbnails are really important, you're like, I made a great thumbnail. No, no. You see, here's what's up. I'm pretty good at thumbnails and titles. I've published 600 videos. And a lot of viewers might say, well, you know, all your videos don't get views. And I'm like, well, that's very typical on YouTube. Most videos don't. But what about this video and this video and this video and this video as well? Like, they all got a lot of views. And why? Because they had good thumbnails. Don't think you did that. Think I need to improve upon that. When you change your thinking, it opens up a world of opportunity. You can work and improve things when you think you've already done it. There's nothing more to improve and you're done. Here are a few tips. The less you add to your thumbnail, the better. Remember I mentioned focusing on one specific thing? Here it's about an iMovie app tutorial. Notice the amount of words. It's just a few iMovie app. It's simple, it's clean, it's easy to understand, it's a creative, and that's what you want. Don't add a boatload of things to your thumbnail. Another thing to think about is you want two or three focal points in your thumbnail. What does that mean? Well, when you look at this thumbnail, you're gonna A, you're gonna look at me, or you're gonna look at the text, iMovie app, or you're gonna look at the phone because I'm looking, I'm holding the phone up. That's three focal points. You want to really reduce the clutter so there are less things for the eye to see and look at. That makes it easier for a person who is scrolling on uh, YouTube and flipping and looking at all the videos. They, it's not like they look at your video and study it. They see it flashing by. Less is more. Here's the thing, you can grow on YouTube, believe you can, and keep publishing videos and strive to learn. The videos on the screen can help you do that right now. Click and watch one of those videos. I'll see you there. And by the way, when you click and watch, yeah, you're gonna get views, but you're gonna feed a poodle. I've got two poodles and they're hungry. You dig?